Denise Matthews, good morning. Welcome to This Day Live. Good morning. Thank you've, you. you've had, how can I put it, an exciting life. Yeah. It's, it, uh, where do we start? Should we, let's start at the beginning. Okay. Grew up in Vintook, Namibia. Yeah. W what was that like? Well, I have four siblings. I'm the eldest of five children. Um, two girls, three boys. Grew up with my grandfather. Schooled in South Africa for a little bit. Moved back to Namibia. School day. Went to high school. Um, did three years of university. And in my fourth, well, in my third year, I dropped out of school to go to Big Brother Africa. I was like, I'm done with school. I'm going to TV. Now, Big Brother Africa, obviously we have over here, we've got Big Brother, the traditional format, but we've also got celebrity formats. Yeah. For you, it was just... The normal one. The, you just risked it. Yeah, I just Put, said, I'm going online, I'm going to enter, and if I don't get in, it's fine. If I get in, even better. Because Big Brother over in Africa is still a big thing. It's, it's a multinational affair broadcast on oh, DSTV. Yeah. Two from each country, 14 African countries. So it's like 28 housemates, like in a teeny weeny house, one Big. bathroom, one kitchen. And certainly the, the ones that I saw when I lived out in South Africa, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a real melting pot because you, whilst South Africa itself is a very multicultural nation, oh, yeah. you've got all of these different tensions here, everybody's got the different opinions. What was that like? It's quite difficult because everyone wants to be seen, you know, we're on a reality TV show, everyone knows we're being watched, so they want to have louder personalities, they want to be the nicest person, so... Oh, not always. Not always, so I just tried, you know, going under the radar and just being me, and then funny enough, Africa actually liked me for me and out of 28 people they chose me as the winner and I was only 22. You weren't that quiet and under the radar. I saw your best bits at the end of the program. Yeah, that's like... I saw you on the <laughs> set <settee> with somebody, <laughs> what can we say, enjoying your company. Yeah. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, don't go all shy on me. Yeah. But what happened next? Because obviously that was a big amount of money in anybody's language, oh, 300,000 yeah. US dollars. What happened next? Because this obviously opened a few doors for you. Yeah, it opened several doors for me. And, you know, I was only 22 when I received all that money. And on my mind that time was bags and shoes. Mm. But I don't know, something knocked me over and I was like, invest, invest, invest. This is where the lip line came in, the ice cubes, the hair salon, everything. But why why do all of that? What, what was the transition? Did you sort of wake up one morning and go, I want to have a makeup line? Oh, yeah, definitely. <coughs> the makeup line, I was approached by someone in the U.S. So I definitely agreed with it. And, you know, when you come from a poor background you just know that if you get money try and double and triple in you know so I just didn't want to have the lifestyle I had before so it was just better and better and yeah that's, that's pretty happy. switched on for somebody who dropped out of college oh yeah I know right so yeah I'm gonna go back to school though yeah yeah I am. And, and yeah let's face it ice cube company Interesting proposition. Oh, yeah. In Africa, it's really hot. And um, every drink you have has to have ice cube in, water, juice, beer, whatever. So I was like, why not just get an uh, ice machine, put my name on it, and sell it? And people love my name. So whenever they see Delisha on the shops and the shelves, they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to buy this lipstick. So, so. They, you are an, you're essentially a brand now. I'm definitely a brand. And, and does that just mean that you're big in Namibia? or? No. Actually, continentally, because I won Big Brother Africa, so everyone in Africa knows me, even countries that do not participate. Like my Twitter, I have people from all over Africa. Some, certain African countries also don't know about They're like, oh, yeah, we watched you on Big Brother. I'm like, oh, yeah. wow, okay. So, yeah, the so brand is continental. So you've got a big continental following? Oh, yeah, um, a lot. So how since then has your life changed? Is, is it just now that you're a, a businesswoman or that... You're a celebrity. What, what comes first in your life? Yeah, I wouldn't say celebrity, but I'm pretty popular wherever I go, and my life has changed drastically. Um, I think I'm just pushing business-wise because it's quite hard for African women to make it in, in where I come from, you know. Your ideas always get pushed down or stolen, so right now I'm just trying to be like the jack-of-all-trades in Namibia. I'm busy opening my restaurant now. Oh. Yeah. Another feather to your cap. Oh, yeah. But, we, I mean, you've done music videos, done TV shows, you've got the, all these sort of businesses. Mm -hmm. Are you spreading yourself too thin or are you ass essentially hedging your bets so that if something goes wrong, it's fine? Well, that we fall by yeah. the wayside and then we move on to something else. I think just I'm having backup, you know. I'm, I don't just want to do one thing, you know. My mind is always coming up with certain ideas, new stuff, so I just want to be as flexible and open as possible. So I'm going to open many businesses. As long as the money's there. As long to help. as the money is there. Well, then the question is, what are you doing in London? I came to London for the magazine cover. 
that we have there. It's called Glam Africa UK. So they asked me to be on their second edition on the cover and I agreed and we came here for magazine signings and we had an after party here in London. So I'm strictly here for that. So it's a bit of fun really. Fun. You're, in terms of business, you're very much, your focus is on Africa and how you can develop businesses there. Oh yeah, definitely. I do a few modeling, branding. So yeah, there's Glam Africa, they like to. And be. briefly, what mm -hmm. for you equals, what, what are the challenges of being an African woman in business? The challenges, I think there's several. It's not bad as it used to be. I think it's a little much better now. And um, the challenges, oh wow, there's several. You know, you come up with an idea and people shut you down. They're like, no, we don't think it's going to work. Or no, the money. Or no, we can't sponsor or fund this. But um, luckily for me, I can fund my own stuff. And, you know, I just push and I have a great support system. So Well, best of luck. Hopefully you do have some fun time, not just in London, but when you get back home. Oh, yeah, definitely. Dilish Matthews, thank you very much for coming and seeing you. us here on This Day Live.